everyone, this is Python Pop, a series of quick videos explaining different Python functions and commands. And in today's video, we're going to learn how to gather information regarding the date and use a dictionary to compare values to figure out if today is an important date. So let's start by gathering the date. What we're going to need to do is import. So from date time, we're going to import date. And what this is going to allow us to do is to set some variable equal to today's date. So we'll say that today is equal to date dot today. But what exactly is this format? We need to figure that out so that we can either code our dictionary the same way or convert this if we already had a dictionary set up. So let's go ahead and print out today. And you can see that it stores the year followed by a dash then the month, dash, and then the day itself. So today is May 25th, 2021. So now that we have today stored as a variable, let's go ahead and populate a dictionary to see if a date in our dictionary matches today's date. So I'm going to make a birthday dictionary. And I'll name that B-Day Dict for short. And we're going to say that the key is going to be my different friend names and the values is going to be the date itself. So I'll have Jamie and their birthday as a string. We'll just make up some random date. So let's say that they were born January 19th, 1990. Let's have another friend, Colt, and let's say that they were born today's date. And let's set that back to 1993-05-25. And let's add one more friend, Chris, and that's going to be October 19th, 1996. So I created a simple dictionary for this example. So with that dictionary set up, now I'm going to check to see if any of those values match today's date. So for each key in my birthday dictionary, what we're going to do is loop through each of our keys. And as we loop through those keys, we're going to be checking the values associated with those keys. And we want to see if they're equal to today's date, but not all of today's date, just the month and the day not the year. So we should get that Colt's birthday is today. But how do we match just the latter half of these two values? We can compare them as strings looking at the last five indices. So if the value of the key at, here's zero, index one, index two, index three, index four, so starting at index five and on, so if the value of that key starting at index five and on, so five colon, if that's equal to, now the date is not technically a string right now. If we were to print the type just to see what today is, it's a class, but we wanna to turn today into a string. So we're going to say str, of today, and again, the indices will match since we set up our dictionary the same way. So five and on. So if those are equal to each other, well, we wanna say whose birthday it is. So we're going to print today is, and our key is the name, so key, and we're gonna concatenate that with an apostrophe S so within our quotes, we need a backslash apostrophe in order for it to be read as a string and then birthday. And let's go ahead and add an exclamation point. And when we run this, there we have it. Today is Colt's birthday. And quickly, since we have a few extra seconds, let's go ahead and print out how old Colt is. So we're going to say print key, and then we're going to say is turning, and then how old they're turning, so age. And then we'll end this with a period. Age will be my variable for their age. So up here, I'll say that age is going to be equal to, 
We need the year, which is the first zero, one, two, three indices. So we need to take the current date today and subtract the year they were born. So we're going to take the string of today, but as opposed to five, one, we want zero, two, four, and this four is not included. So it will be zero, one, two, and three, just those number values. It's currently being read as a string. So we're going to change that string into an integer. And then we're going to subtract. We'll do the same with the birthday. So the integer of, go ahead and copy our previously used values in, but we're going to change this to be zero to four. And again, this is working because we set the values of our dictionary in the same format as the date. And there we have it. It tells us how old that colt is turning. And you can use this with other dates as opposed to birthdays. Go ahead and create your own dictionary of important dates to you, and you can run this code and check the date with your calendar. And that wraps up this video. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.